Hello guys, I recently picked up a flood car from Houston, Texas for parts only. This is one of the many victims of recent Hurricane Harvey. My intention is to take it apart and to rebuild at least four more cars just like it. And I had no idea what condition it was in or didn't expect it to start or drive. This is a 2012 Ford Fusion SE with 74,000 miles on the odometer and I paid under $3,000 for shipping, uh, taxes and all the fees that come with it as well. On the exterior, it looks like your average fusion on the road, not showing any signs of flooding. The paint, wheels, and body panels are all in great condition. On the inside, the car seems pretty normal as well. You do get a hint of slight stale odor, but nothing too overpowering. There's clear evidence that the water reached seat rails and since been rusted over. The carpet doesn't seem to have any clear water lines either, all appearing normal. In the trunk, everything is dry and it doesn't have any rusting telling me that the water never reached the spare tire compartment. I actually had to do some research to figure out how high the water got in and finally found it on the inside of the doors. The rear doors show the same level. Under the hood, everything seems to be in order. And the only place I found any sediment was on the lower components, mainly on the engine cradle. Dipstick also confirmed that no water breach occurred. So we know for sure that water level wasn't very high, but most importantly question is, will it start? It certainly does and with ease, engine runs like a Swiss watch. At first glance, everything seems to be in order. I'm not seeing any check engine lights or any other electrical errors that you would expect from a flood car. Window switches, radio, and other electrical components are fully functional. We decided to take this thing for a spin to see how it performs on the road. It drives exactly like a Ford Fusion would drive. There's no hesitation in, in gear changing and no hesitation while accelerating. Suspension is at its norm and most importantly, it stops on demand. Overall, I was pleasantly surprised on how well it performed knowing its past history. However, it's extremely important to know that flood cars don't instantly show symptoms of electronic issues or mechanical failures until months or years down the road. I'm sure there are plenty of success stories with flutters out there but certainly not something I'm willing to risk by selling to another party. Even though this car is absolutely beautiful and fully operational at this moment, it will be best served as a donor vehicle for other Ford Fusions in dire need of body panels, doors, or bumpers. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're not a subscriber yet, please click the subscribe button now to see future videos like this. Thanks and until next time.